Do you want to know how a blockchain project can spend $2.5 million in a quarter? Our number one moment will show you how it's done. another EOS IO top five moments of the week. Now, please keep in mind, none of this is financial advice and you are strongly advised to do your own research. This is brought to you by the team at Helios, myself, Chris Barnes. And Waxa. So starting with number five, we have the Upland's first drop of their city, Rio, which has been their most popular release to date. Upland is a metaverse project running exclusively on EOS that continues to surprise and grow as they yet again demonstrate the highly performant nature of the EOS IO technology by minting 54 properties, which are each NFTs per second and 3,320 properties per minute. This is just the first stop of the newly expanded region within Upland as now the secondary market transactions will take over. Upland is a metaverse that feels very much like the real world with true to life travel and real time transactions. For those interested in seeing what is possible in not only a lifelike metaverse, but a blockchain platform that allows for lifelike real-time transactions, you'd need to visit upland.me to learn more. And now for number four. So staking STLOS is now available by the Telos EVM. So this is a bit of a follow-up from a recent TCD update that gave us a little more info on what STELOS staking would look like. Specifically, we saw the roadmap for STELOS staking, including development of the ERC-4626 staking contract, an escrow timer contract, an EOSIO distribution contract, Telos scan interface, amendment vote, and the first use case of the EVM to Telos native interoperability. Yield remains one of the most attractive attributes of the cryptoverse. So again, it's great to see the Telos team progressing on this in both Telos native and EVM. And now for number three. So Pomelo season three has kicked off. That is correct. If you've been following us, then you've been hearing lots about not only previous Pomelo seasons, but of course, this current season number three. Pomelo is providing a consistent source of funding for EOS and EOSIO public good projects, which when it comes to public goods is actually really quite valuable considering the difficulty it can often be to fund public good development. So far for this season, there are over 130 projects to choose from. To give them a view, head on over to pomelo.io to find your favorite projects. You'll be able to donate to these until August 18th, where the matching pool of $350,000 will be divvied up via the quadratic funding formula method. So don't waste any time on head on over. And now for number two. So the ESIO Coalition have a new report out and have issued an RFP for enhancements to the peer-to-peer -peer protocol. That is correct. So the ESIO Coalition continue to pump out news and progress. This time, they have provided an update that the faster finality and IBC work will begin after finding a means to fund the work via a 24-month milestone-based approach, thereby spreading out the treasury drain over time and allowing the participating chains, which are EOS, Telos, Wax, and UX Network, to not need to dump their tokens onto the market all at once. This will help to prevent further downward pressure on the respective token price and still get the job done. In addition, the EOSIO web client SDKs from Graymass is making progress towards being ready to move forward as they are in the final review stage of the work scope. Finally, a new RFP has been issued for P2P improvements where the goal will be to improve the peer-to-peer -peer node discovery and synchronization process within Node EOS. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Great work is definitely taking place within the EOSIO coalition. And now for number one, our top ESIO moment of this week is that the Telos Foundation Q2 report is out. Yeah, so the Q2 report from Telos Foundation comes with the headline from hiring to execution mode. Q2 highlights include big attendance at the Consensus and Decentral events in Austin, Texas. Over 29 projects have joined the Telos ecosystem. A tier one exchange listing from Huobi and several other exchanges simply due to increased visibility of the chain. By the numbers, Telos's biggest quarterly spend was in fact marketing at $404,000, which accounts for 45.9% of their total quarterly spend. Next in line were community at 16.9%, business development at 15.9%, and finally operations at 13.4%. The total quarterly spend was roughly $2.5 million. The report goes into actually much more detail on each category from marketing and events, business development, operations, community, PR, the TELUS liquidity team, and the TELUS core development team. Finally, the report concludes with a look ahead at the roadmap for Q3 and Q4 of 2022. If you're curious to learn more about TELUS and what's ahead, this report is certainly worth your time. And that concludes this week's top five SIO moments of the week. Thank you for joining us.
Yes. And so, of course, smash the like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Share with your friends and family and all those who you think might be interested in EOS IO because we are coming at you each and every week with all the top news to give you that sort of edge in terms of what's going on that other people will not know.